he played keyboard for me on the spot he was playing with me when i was singing and uh, he gave me a rhythm track uh, in my ears so that recording style was new to me at that time when i heard about uh, spb sir's um, demise actually i was i was thinking the music industry is finished that's all I had a personal experience two three times with Lata ji. Um, once um, I sang for her 75th birthday and uh, that day I got to meet her uh, personally and get her blessings. When I lost my daughter, she called me again and she said uh, I I knew about all the things happened for in your life. Um, um rest of your life is music only. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rehman Music Sheets. 1979 K.S. Chitra started playback singing with Malayalam films 1985 she started singing with Maestro Ilaya Raja between 1985 and 86 Chitra sang more than 50 songs for him it was during one of these recordings that she first noticed a young boy playing keyboard as a session musician By the early 90s Chitra had evolved into an established singer singing for Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada and Hindi films. And that's when the same boy called her to sing for Roja. He was such a small boy, he was a child. When I saw him at Raja sir studio, I thought he's such a small boy is playing there. I really was uh, It, it was really shocking for me. Then I asked the person who informs us the recording. I asked him, "Who is this small boy?" Then he said, "It is R K Shekhar sir's son. Uh, his name is Dilip." So first time I saw him there. Then after that, I uh, I've met him in so many other recordings. Basically, uh, I have never spoken to him because he was also very silent. Even I was also not very outgoing. So I was in my voice room, and he plays uh, keyboard, uh, and he goes away. So we have never spoken to each other until then, until Roja. So when uh, the recording of Roja happened, I got a call from uh, Air Rahman. Sorry, I didn't know it was Dilip. So when I went there only, I met him. Then I realized, oh, this is that small boy uh, who was playing for Raja sir. And then only, uh, basically, he doesn't speak much. You know, as you all know. even to me he is like that only uh, once in a while when he sees me how are you how how what um, how is your husband and he just ask ask me a few questions that's all then into our work for roja chitra sang rukmani rukmani in tamil and telugu chilla chilla aasha chilla chilla aasha in malayalam pournami ye tottu ye hasi vaadiya in hindi ye hasi Ma'am, at that time you were singing with almost every top composer in the industry. So when you came to record for Roja, did you find something that was strikingly different? Until then, I was working for all the other music directors, and uh, we hear the final product there itself. The final version we can hear in the studio itself because we were doing everything together with the orchestra and everything. But when I came for Air Rahman Ji, uh, he played. keyboard for me on the spot he was playing with me when i was singing and uh, he gave me a rhythm track uh, in my ears so that recording style was new to me at that time he gave me the lyrics and he played the tune on the keyboard and uh, i learned the song and then i went to the mi- uh, mi- microphone and he was playing along with me so that was a different experience and he gives us maximum liberty we can sing whatever expressions or improvisations whatever you feel we can do after that we come back and we can hear the final song only when it get released so i am after singing itself i don't know which all takes he has taken he has taken everything and whatever was impressive to him he'll place it there so the final product is we all were waiting to hear how it comes out and it was beyond my imagination i should tell you when i sang the song it was just the song but after the orchestration and the chorus and everything that sounded totally different i was really surprised the way the, the way he treated the song it was so different we feel that he composed after seeing the movie it was so beautiful 
it was so beautiful ma'am what did you feel about his compositions did they appear to be different when you sang them say for example rukmani 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 was totally a different composition at a situation song for the he composed it for that sit particular situation it was fun at the same time uh, uh, sensual and all such things were there it, it it was a totally a different type of song which i have not tried so far there at that time rukmani rukmani akkam pakka enna satta kadirandu dusadadi kandupidi enna satta and the eh hasi vadiya was a very a uh, soft and very very melodious song i loved i loved that song ye hasi wadiya you sang with mr fp balasubramaniam did you sing it together no i sang first and baluji sang later did mr sp balasubramaniam ever discuss rehman's compositions with you how did he find them when balu sir sings a very beautiful song for air rahman ji he always used to when we meet for the next recording he'll always used to say i have sung a beautiful song for him and he sometimes he even hums the song and so many times after uh, roja janeman also he, uh, he spoke i sang a beautiful song he uh, so many songs of air rahman sir spp sir loves because i i have uh, i've heard him mentioning about that song so many times this song you know uh, in kadali in kadali என்னை என்ன செய்ய போகிறாய் நான் ஓவியன் என்று தெரிந்தும் நீ ஏன் கண்ணீரண்டை கேட்கிறாய் தட் சாங் யூ ஹீ ஹீ சிங்ஸ் ஸோ பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி ஆன் ஸோ மெனி ஸ்டேஜஸ் வென் ஐ பர்ஃபார்ம் வித் ஹிம் ஹீ ஈவன் ஹீ வாஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் சம்டைம்ஸ் ஹீ வாஸ் ஈவன் இன் டியர்ஸ் வென் ஹீ ஹீ சிங்ஸ் திஸ் சாங் வி லாஸ்ட் எஸ் பி பாலு சார் ரீசெண்ட்லி போத் ஆஃப் யூ ஹேட் டன் லாட் ஆஃப் ஒர்க் டுகெதர் வாட் மெமரிஸ் டு யூ ஹேவ் ஆஃப் ஹிம் when i heard about uh, spb sir's uh, demise actually i was i was thinking the music industry is finished that's all i couldn't imagine how that industry will be without him because he was such a big uh, pillar in 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 especially in the south indian music industry so i was wondering how uh, how how things will go after that because uh, for all the heroes and even the young generation heroes also he was singing for each and every one of them uh, and uh, in reality shows and even in stage shows he is the main person in that stage till i can't believe he is not there because once in a while for recording or sometimes for concerts only we used to meet so still now i feel he is somewhere doing some concerts or some recording he is shooting and he is busy with his work that's what i feel i, I still believe still i want to believe that way only i still can't believe he's not with us anymore both of you have sung some iconic songs together can you recall some recording sessions with him for every recordings especially when i was singing telugu songs with him he used to uh, tell me how to ex- uh, uh, emote to that to especially to some particular words or some for some songs how to treat the song everything he used to teach me and it was always a, a learning experience to sing along with him even on stage i have learned so many things from him how he respects his co singers and his co musicians and the way he interacts with the audience and and also the concern he has for his fellow beings so so many things uh, so many good qualities he has and each and every musician working with him have uh, their personal experience with spb sir in their personal life some people you know um, they have some family problems and they stop uh, uh, being in the mu- music industry he goes to them and brings them back to the industry if he is talented so in every way he is different he is different and he is uh, most most loving to everyone ye bandhan hai pyar ka dekho toote na sajni ye janmo ka saath hai dekho chote na sajna tere aur chal ke chhao ke tale meri manzil सीवा दिया 
आए खुला सुमा आ गए हम मैन फॉर दिल से देर इज वन सॉन्ग दैट यू सैंग इन तेलुगु एस जानकी जी सैंग इन तमिल एंड लता मंगेशकर जी सैंग इन हिंदी दैट इज जिया जले लाइक एवरी सिंगर इन इंडिया लता जी हैज बीन एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर यू टू In fact, you released an album to pay tribute to her. Teri aankh ke siwa duniya me rakha kya hai? Recently, we lost Lata Ji also. I think you did meet her couple of times. What memories do you have of her? We all grew up listening to Lata Ji. Uh, she's always in all the female singers. Lata Ji is there because. we we listen to her and we grew up listening to them and you know all their uh, uh, some qualities here and there all the playback singers have uh, i had a personal experience two three times with lata ji um, once uh, i sang for her 75th birthday and uh, that day i got to meet her uh, personally and get her blessings and then uh, on her 80th birthday we released an album called nightingale Uh, uh, she called me for uh, after listening to that album and uh, spoke some good things uh, about me and uh, uh, after that when i lost my daughter she called me again and uh, uh, there was an award function in lata ji's name an award was given in hyderabad so i was selected for that award and i w- i refused to go because uh, i was not uh, personally i was not uh, in a good feeling to go and receive the award then lata ji called me personally and she said uh, I, i knew about all the things happened for you in your life um, um rest of your life is music only so i don't want to want you to sit at home please go and receive the award i will come i want to see you you should come so i went and uh, received that award be- only for lata ji because she insisted she is an icon she is an uh, nobody can forget her and she'll be uh, she's uh, in everyone's life she's there not even even a single day passes without listening to her songs ye ho kahi inka saaya mere dil se jata nahi inke siwa ab to kuch bhi Ma'am, you just mentioned about your daughter. I'm not sure if you are comfortable talking about it. If not, then please don't reply. I think you were in Dubai for a show with Mr. Rahman, and there, in an accident, uh, she died, and she was very young. Um, it must have been very traumatic. How did you brave that? We have to immerse yourself in some work. That's that's the only thing you can do. If you sit alone at home. everything the, all the thoughts will haunt you and uh, uh, it is really not if not possible to live so getting some uh, my thank god that even after that still i am working and i am getting lot of a uh, uh, lot of work from different uh, areas and i am keeping myself occupied that keeps me going forward in life ma'am i want to conclude this episode on a happy note there are singers who eat everything but there are some who are very particular about what they eat and i think you belong to the second category is there any food item that you have not eaten for many years ice cream thodi si dhool meri dharti ki mera watan ki thodi si dhool meri dharti ar rahman has composed music for more than 150 films Chitra has sung in more than 100 of them. To talk about some of those iconic songs, Kesh Chitra will continue with us in the next episode. Stay with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.